Hey, what's going down, everybody? It's your boy D-Man for Life, aka D-Mizzle for Rizzle, and I'm coming at you with another hot episode of EA Sports UFC. And as you saw last time, I thought Michael Bisbing was going to be an easy fight, but he wasn't. I guess having a taste for that goal really put the motivation on him. So I can't take my next opponent lightly. So let's see who that's going to be. Wow. We got Luke Rockhold as the next title defense. He's a very well-rounded fighter, and this is going down at UFC 242, so I got to get this training in to get my head in the right space to defeat Luke Rockhold. Nothing but respect for this guy. Hey man, it's Cole Miller. I hear you got a big fight coming up. Time to get down and dirty in training camp. No distractions. Good luck. Okay, folks. I'm here at the uh, Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Me and Luke Rock hold the main event in a five-rounder. So it's definitely time to take care of business. And look who's the co-main event. Gray Maynard versus Smooth Benson Henderson and Gray knocked Smooth out in the first round. That is impressive. So let's get this in, folks. Let's go to work. Coming up next, it's a middleweight title fight between Assassin and Luke Rockwell. Luke Rockwell enters the octagon tonight with one goal, and that is to become the new UFC middleweight champion. He's trained extensively on his wrestling, specifically his takedown defense for this fight, Mike. This is a guy who's extremely difficult to put on his back, and if you do get him there, he's very good at just popping right back up to his feet. If he wants this fight to stay on his feet, it will. Enters the octagon tonight, determined to become the new UFC champion. Assassin making his way to the octagon, looking to defend his belt. Taking shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. Wow, that stat is wrong. I've won more than 12 fights in a row, son. I'm about to add one more to that total, but it's way more than 12. Assassin sets a battle, Luke Rockwell. For this, our main event of the evening, Assassin is 25, Rockwell is 35. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And the referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levin. This is the moment UFC fans have been waiting for. Live from the Soul Out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses, standing six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, USA, Luke. 
Rock Hole. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 18 wins, no losses. Standing six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Assassin. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now to back your corner. Okay, it's time to get it in. Let's touch gloves and Assassin. begin the beat down. And here we go. The middleweight title is a... Ooh, he stumbled back real quick. Ooh. Wow, that was a crazy kick. Caught me with a jumping, spinning type deal. But I caught him with the switch kick. The kick is checked by Rockwell. Spinning back kick to the face. Jab. Counters with the jab. He tags him with the punch. Good damn. By Rockwell. Look at that. He's timing that jab. Back and forth battle. The huge head kick is blocked. Ooh, he's got him. Ooh, got him in Muay Thai plum. Knees, knees, knees. Just wrecking him. Another one. These are powerful knees. Taking him for a ride like Marvel 2. Unbelievable. That's some wrestling right there. Luke Rockhold's opponent needs to be aware that he is still very dangerous on his back here. He's absolutely deadly off his back. If his opponent does not mind his piece... Nah, he's staying put on him. ...caught the submission. Uh-uh. Oh, damn, he caught the sweep. He's earned the reversal. But I can get up from this. I've got good uh, recovery, so... And there's a nice straight by Assassin. Ooh, caught him with the nice jumping switch. He's up nicely, isn't he? He's being unpredictable, that's for sure, and that is important. Knee to the body. Ooh, double jab. Oh, oh head kick to kick. That was a fierce head kick. I got it. Moving for the kill now. Assassin's head kick. I can't let it. Ooh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, he ended my title reign. I wanna, I want an immediate rematch. Oh, damn! Caught me straight to the liver. Stoppage right there by the referee. And let's look at it from this angle. Taking a beating here, big shots, and the referee forced to intervene. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levin has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 51 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Luke Rockhold. Luke Rockhold is the new UFC middleweight champion. loss. Ugh. That is not good at all. Damn. That just hurts, man. It really does. Ugh. Fucking No 
no one ever wants to lose. And it always sucks to lose. Did all this, suffered so much, tried so hard, got here, and fell short. It's gonna happen. This sport is too dynamic. There's too many ways to win and lose. I felt like it was over. I was like, this is it, man. I got now, now have to climb a ladder full of studs. Everybody in the UFC is a oh, tough fight, tough fight, tough fight. Why couldn't I have done this? Why couldn't I have done that? What, what's gonna happen in my career? Am I gonna have a job tomorrow? All these crazy things are going through your head right when you lose. That, that feeling of, that, of you losing is the feeling I used every time I train. It all depends on how you come back from this. Break it down. What went wrong in the fight and what didn't you train? What are your deficits and what do you need to fix? I feel like today is the best fighter I've ever been. And it was because of that loss. Hey, it's Martin Kamen. Sorry about the loss the other night. Keep your head up, man, and come back strong.